Johnny Depp is giving back. The Pirates of the Caribbean star donated nearly $800,000 to children's hospitals around the world by selling off a series of NFTs. Depp sold the digitally verified artwork through his Never Fear Truth community. Quote, we are grateful and very thankful to the Never Fear Truth community for this tremendous accomplishment, making this project one of the most philanthropic NFT sales to date. And we are excited to build on this success and making an even greater impact going forward. The Never Fear Truth community's official Twitter account said in a statement. The money was split between four charities, including the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, to which Amber Heard had pledged part of her $7 million divorce settlement from Depp back in August 2016. Despite it being revealed during Depp's defamation trial against her that she hasn't given the full $7 million yet, Heard recently promised on the Today Show that she is standing by her commitment and will donate. Depp's donation comes just weeks after Virginia Jury sided with the Sweeney Todd stars, claims that his ex-wife had defamed him in her 2018 op-ed in the Washington Post. Throughout the trial, one of Johnny's lawyers, Camille Vasquez, captured the attention of the internet and became the talk of social media for her courtroom approach. In her first one-on-one -on -one TV interview since the victory in court, Camille talked exclusively with Access Hollywood's Mario Lopez and got personal when recalling a touching story about a mother who drove her daughter to the defamation trial just so she could watch the powerhouse attorney at work. I remember grabbing my daughter and saying, see Gia, see that's, then he goes, that you can be that girl right there that's on TV. <laughs> but not just for other young Latinos, for other young girls uh, in general, it's gotta be very inspirational. Absolutely, I was in trial and um, I had a mother drive her to watch the trial. During one of the breaks, she stopped me and, and she made me cry because she said, I took my daughter out of school, it was important enough because I wanted her to meet you. And, you know, she said there aren't role models out there, young female Hispanic role models for her to look up to. And you've been that for her. So thank you. And I, again, I was really touched by that. And um, I don't know how it happened, but <laughs> other than I was just doing my job.